Excuse me, you wouldn't have changed for a tenner, would you? You're going to mug me. I might go to mug you. I think the thought of having face tattoos and throat tattoos for other people is like a really extreme thing. For me, it's not extreme. You're in a gang or something, you've got face tattoos. And... When people see me and they're like, look disgusted or whatever, I'm like, do you know what? You're just small minded. Your opinion actually means all to me. Like, I don't care. A lot of people just assume it's like a mental illness and stuff like that, which uh, it's obviously not. But um, yeah. I'm not going to hurt you. Just because I look a certain way doesn't mean anything. Excuse me, could you possibly change this £10 note for two fives? I, I, OK. And it's uh, one of them things, once you go on the face, that's it. It's uh, that's pretty addictive. I think I was about 21. I got the lightning strike underneath the eye and then underneath my other eye. Then I went and scraped above my eyebrows and then I stayed at that for ages. And then all of a sudden, I got the big dagger going through from my forehead uh, down to my cheek. Once I went big, I carried on going big, big, big. When you get a tattoo on your arm or something, after you've got one on the face, it doesn't feel the same, yeah? <laughs> I also got all the big bits on my face tattooed. I didn't really like looking at them anymore. So then I spent, like, a year and a half getting rid of it, absolutely everything on my face, with all the big bits. And then very soon after, my daughter died. She passed away. And um, after that, I, I went pretty heavy, and most of the big ones on there now are sort of a, a tribute to her. She's 14 months. Winter. Yeah, I know it's winter road, so... Yeah, yeah, it's awful. Yeah. The first thing I did, it was just about a week afterwards, I got the rose on my face, which was a, a big one straight away. And then uh, not long after that, I got the winter and it stuck up my face because, you know, I'm never going to regret that name when I'm there, so that's one thing I can be sure of. In a way, these, getting these sort of tattoos helped me through the sort of the grieving process and, uh, yeah. Excuse me, do you know which way it's to Selfridges? Growing up, my parents, I don't think they liked me very much. I caused them a lot of problems. I think they were almost nearly divorced because of me. I got expelled from school, shoplifting and just causing havoc. I was really lost and did things to get a reaction out of my parents and stuff. And then I kind of just grew up a bit and realised this isn't what I want to do anymore. I want to, I want to make money, I want to, you know, have a successful life, I want to have a good future, and I found modelling. My ex-boyfriend's name across my vagina was my first tattoo. <laughs> I know, it's awful. I thought I was so clever at 15. We broke up six months after I had it done. My dad paid for me to get it covered, and then I just carried on getting tattooed. My first big tattoo was about five years ago, and it went from there. Once I got that one, it just didn't stop. It just went crazy. I just kept getting more and more and more. We good to go. My dad is so anti-tattoos, like, he's like, you don't want to do that to your body, son. And I'm just like, <laughs> like, I don't argue with my dad. Like, he's badass, so, yeah. Got, like, these mandalas around the side. That was the first one. Round here, going onto the face. I mean, absolutely nothing. I just liked them, thought they were cool. Like, none of my tattoos have any meaning. It's just, I like it, so I'm going to get it. I was in a court case. I got alleged of kidnap and uh, kidnapped with firearms. Like, all the jury were just looking at me like absolute scum. I just thought, I'm going to prison for something I haven't even done. Excuse me, you don't have change for a tenner, do you? I do. No? All right, thank you very much. Excuse me. Hi there. You don't have change for... No. Sorry, dude, you haven't got two fives for a ten, have you? Uh, no. No, no worries, man. Hey, have you got two fives for a ten? No. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, have you got any change for a ten pack? Excuse me? Why aren't you helping me? I'm asking you for help. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> excuse me, you wouldn't be able to change this, would you? No. Excuse me, guys. Excuse me. You wouldn't have... Excuse me. I'm asking for your help. Excuse me. They look at me like I am a piece of dirt and they just, they don't engage, they won't look at me in the eye, they just walk past me and they're just not interested. I think I must have asked 
for your people. Excuse me, you wouldn't have changed for a tenner, would you? You're going to mug me. Do you, uh, am I going to mug you? Yeah. No. Uh, no, okay. I kind of just want change for a tenner. I might have that. That's a bit sad, that's your first kind of thought. Absolutely my first thought, yeah. Why is that? Because a lot of muggings going on recently. Yeah? Yeah, hundreds of them. Where are your sense of humor? I don't know, I get this a lot, you know? <laughs> I had you confused. Yeah, I know you I did. You very Thank you very much. Cheers. I appreciate that. Thank you. What do you do? What do I do? What are you doing here? Right, so pretty much today it was a social experiment to uh, ask for change and see if people just walk past me or whatever, but you actually stopped. And I was just wondering, did you have any judgmental thoughts? I did have judgmental issues. Yeah. I said, I've got five daughters, and if one of them was to marry you, I'd disinherit her. Yeah. <laughs> and initially, initially. Yeah, initially. But then when I speak to you for a few minutes, yeah. you seem an OK guy. Yeah. But I wouldn't want you at front of house in a hotel. I was one of these people that was very, oh, I'm never getting my throat tattooed, I'm not getting my hands done, and I'm not doing my face. But then I guess I just stopped caring about what people thought, and it didn't really matter that, you know, you can't get a job with face tattoos. Visible tattoos, whether they're the henna type or the real deal, are only allowed if they are unobstructive and inoffensive. And this rule applies for all UK branches. Can I tell you what, Van Hamburger? Hiya. Oh, yeah. I just wondered how I go about applying for a job here. Um, you need to apply online. OK, and do you think that with my, like, tattoos and stuff, I'd be accepted here, or...? Um, no, obviously, it's not my uh, decision. OK. Team, so, so you have no personal problem with tattoos? Obviously, um, as I say, it's not my decision. So. OK, well, thank you very much. And I'll apply online. Cheers. There's some big companies in my town, like, everyone sort of works for the same sort of companies, and I've got some friends higher up and stuff like that, and I've said, oh, do you reckon I could get a job? And I was like, don't even put an application for me, because you're not getting a job. <laughs> Starbucks staff dress code lookbook. Visible tattoos on face and neck are not allowed. Yeah, I was actually going to ask uh, how I go about applying to get a job. Yeah, in here, yeah. yeah. We don't have at the moment any vacancy, but you just need to put in the application. The hole in my face is going to be all right. It's only because I've been turned away for a few jobs just recently. Yeah, I just, before I waste my time with an application, yeah, you think it's going to be absolutely fine? I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, that's, right. that's your stuff. Right? Thank you very much. Because you have that that's a real refreshing, yeah. It's nice yeah. to hear that. <laughs> Smiley and stuff. And it's Thank you. Problem. That's all. Yeah, it's surprisingly refreshing, actually. Yeah, it's treating me very well attitudes uh, must have changed because I think she'd actually like to see me have a job in Starbucks somewhere. So, yeah, I think that's awesome. If you were to look at my CV, you'd be like, wow, this guy's good. But then as soon as I go there with my CV, it's like, they look me up and down. It's like, no, not for us. You can tell it. It's in their face. Do you know what I mean? Three, zero, four, nine. Three, zero, four, Looking to apply for a job. Um, how do I go about it? Do the... Well, online. And the tattoos don't matter. No. So I can come in how I am. Not a problem. All right, thank you very much. Awesome, cheers, thank you. Yours, like, went really in-depth, like mine in KFC. Really cool, really they cool. They were just like... Yeah, apply online. I was like, what about the face tattoos? Just apply online, yeah, you'll be fine. I just think they just didn't want to tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. She didn't just want to have to say, door. oh, no. No, yeah, exactly. It's not, it's not a thing or it's not part of a policy. It was yeah. just easier for you to go online, read Rather that it's not their policy. Rather than about it, though, and mm. be like, well, this is what just it is. Just come at me with yeah, yeah, instead of just spill me a yeah. get my yeah. hopes up. I was really pleasantly surprised with mine. Yeah. yeah. She was like, Mm. Check it out, my tat. She loved them, and she was like, "Yeah, I could probably get you a job in one of the other stores." So, oh. Yeah, that was nice. It was Why refreshing. Why not her store? Oh no! In fact, they just got no room. No uh, room at the inn, apparently. Yeah, typical, uh, and, though, uh, huh? <laughs> typical. <laughs> like, no room. Fair, I, I believe that she was cool. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'm gonna. Uh, lose my mind and rub it all off today, but um, that's why I'm excited to do this. That's why I, that's why I jumped on board with it. I, I think it's going to be great to see. I mean, I've lived with face tattoos for so many years now. Um, uh, I think it's going to be fun. Basically, they're, they're both just done from a piercing, but um, I stretched them up. They were, they were huge. A little more to work with. Yeah, I can get at least four <laughs> fingers in that one. This one's more of a three-finger deal. The reason we're putting 
so much orange on your face at the moment is... I did wonder. <laughs> it's, it's kind of like the base layer. Okay. Um, and it counteracts the pigment. And now I just look like a pumpkin. Now. <laughs> It'll pay off later. Okay, sorry. <laughs> How are you doing at tea? I don't like that one bit. I uh, much prefer to see my, um, my winter tattoo and the sort of the tributes to my daughter to be there, visible. Yeah, I don't like hiding them. It makes me feel a bit sick to look at myself without them. I can't stand it. I'm really intrigued to see people's reactions without my tattoos because obviously I feel like my tattoos make me who I am. It's going to be like a real test to show me like what people think of just me on my own. Is this as easy to get off as it is to get on? <laughs> well, they're specialist products, so it actually is designed to stay on better than most regular makeups. You should actually be able to go swimming, go out, oh, have wow. a whole day and have everything stay covered. No way, that's crazy. You've got really warm hands. I'm hot, Bella. <laughs> Super weird. <laughs> it looks so strange. Oh my god. I look like a lady. I look like a woman. I kind of feel like I'm, I've lost a little bit of confidence. I think that my tattoos make me feel like empowered and I stand out from the crowd. I feel like I'm gonna just merge into the crowd and that I'm just gonna look normal, just like a normal person. I just feel like I'm not gonna draw any attention to myself at all. I quite like attention. I didn't even recognise you. <laughs> New man, Oh, it? my God. That is so weird. If Would it you wasn't like it? for your eyes... Teeth. And your teeth. Oh, my God. Yeah, that looks, looks crazy. crazy. Oh, my God, let's get a selfie. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel like me. I, don't I, don't feel like I keep myself. catching a glimpse and I'm like, I know, oh. and I'm like, oh, I look like a janitor face, or something. My right? face feels really like chubbier. All yeah. this is done for me is make me want to get more tattoos. I can't wait to see Jason when he comes are down we gonna, and see how he's Are we going to recognise him? Where is he coming? He's probably with us right now. We don't even know. So, how long do you reckon this is going to take? I'm hoping no more than an hour. What are we going to do about the dermal to cover that? Ooh. So I've never taken it out, so I haven't got a clue how it works. <laughs> and knowing me, I wouldn't be able to get back in either. Whoa, whoa, whoa. If you want to stick your fingers up my nose, you're more than welcome. But I don't really. <laughs> Do we need gloves? Do you think you'll have more on your face? I say no, but then, yeah. That's what I said last time, and then I got another one. <clears throat> Is that how your tattoo started, though? Like, one? Yeah. I just get one. And then you just get addicted, and you have to keep going back. And... It doesn't help when your mate's tattoo artist either. I feel like we've I just think... had surgery or something. <laughs> That's disgusted. That's actually awful. I like my cheek tattoos. It gives me a bit of like slim line, and I've got these big hamster cheeks. Like, eee! Oh, yeah. Um, it's odd. It's not too normal. Like, I'd be happy to rock this. Um, no, I could definitely go back to this and be happy. There he is! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you look awesome. Uh, you look so different. Yours looks great. You do I, look cool. I don't think we look like I ourselves, though. your black ears, sorry, man. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's and mad. You, like, yeah. so different. If it wasn't for his eyes... Teeth yeah. and everything. Like. But the teeth yeah, yeah, look crazy. Yeah. It looks so mad. Do you like it or not? Uh, I still think I'm a stud, no matter <laughs> what. So <laughs> I don't really care. I can't stand it. I hate every minute of it, but, yeah. yeah. It's like the first time walking down that no-one's been gawping or anything. Yeah, it's, it's just really, like... really weird. Do you like that? 
No. no. I feel invisible. I like feeling like you an like X-Man, like a superhero. Yeah. Like, do you know what I mean? I, I must, think it's I funny. Do. I must admit, I do. All right, well, I'll catch you guys in a bit then. See you later. Man. Good luck. Could you tell me where the nearest tube station is? Tube station? Yeah. It's literally just straight down there. Straight down there. Down there and you'll get to, um, there's loads of like restaurant stand, like that, yeah. turn right. I know there's one at Baker Street, which is going up. Baker Street. All right, then, lovely. Thank you. Got change with Tenner by any chance? I don't. Oh, thank you anyway. Why heavy is it, Tenner? Oh, bless you. <laughs> turn left at the top. Baker Street. So, the top of the so if you straight up here and then take a left. Hiya, excuse me, you wouldn't have change for a tenner, would you? I don't, No, no problem, thank you very much. Yeah. Brilliant. Is that way. Excellent. But to the right of this, if you go right down here. Excuse me, do you know the way to Selfridges? The other end of Oxford Street. Down right above Oxford Street. Go down there and turn right. Yeah. Brilliant. Near Marble Arch. Thank you. You wouldn't know where the tube station is, like the nearest one, would yes. you? Um, I think if you <laughs> walk through the park... Yeah. Yeah, I thought you know, for a man, you've got so much makeup on. Tattoos. I can actually show you a picture of what I looked like half an hour ago. It's beautiful. I've never seen any oh, anyone awesome. like that. Without the tattoos, they didn't seem as, like, intimidated or threatened by me, and they were more than happy to help. It made me feel, yeah, yeah. Uh, Good in one sense and then bad in the other because this isn't the real me, so I'd like to be treated the same either way. People treat me differently 100% with the makeup on. I set myself up for uh, the negativity already. I know how I can be treated by people. So I think that maybe I had a bit of a barrier up when I was asking for directions, say when I was tattooed, maybe I was a bit more abrupt. Before, a lot of people didn't even just acknowledge that I was talking, they would just walk straight past. This time, people are actually stopping to talk and. Uh, yeah, I actually had a couple of little conversations. So, yeah, there was, there was definitely a noticeable difference this time. We reserve the right to refuse entry to anyone wearing attire that we consider inappropriate. Visible tattoos and clothing that contain objectionable language or designs are not permitted. Right, so I'm just going to see if I can get into Harrods. Uh, last time I was here, I got refused. Um, so this is going to be the kind of tests, like the icing and the cakes, if I can actually get in. I'm going to go up to my makeup counter. I'm going to ask them to, like, colour swatch my face and see how they feel when they take my makeup off and see all my tattoos underneath it. Take all my foundation off. It's really heavy. Sorry, where's watches? Watches? You Men's watches. Yes. He's just literally crossing for the other side. Yeah. No worries, thank you. Do you know where the watches are, mate? All the way to the very end. Fine jewellery, don't worry, yes. Yeah. Thank you. So, do you like facial tattoos? Yeah, it's beautiful. What is it? Um, it's mandala. Men's watches. That carry on down. Yeah. Blinded. Would you be allowed to have facial tattoos here? No. No? Um, there is a guy that's got them on the neck. Face, I'm not sure. OK. I wanted to shock her. I kind of wanted her to be shocked, but she wasn't. She liked it. Yeah, I can't believe it, actually. I was more worried that they were going to kick me out for the mess I'd made on myself. The older generation are always going to frown on tattoos, but the younger generation are getting much more uh, used to it and it's become more popular and it's just something that I guess is more normal now. I was expecting to be rugby tackled and slung out on the street, but um, nobody cared. Nobody batted an eyelid and I spoke to many people that work in there and they were treating me just like a, a, a normal customer. So, I don't know, it's kind of restored my faith in humanity in a way. Are you wearing makeup? Yeah, I'm wearing makeup at the moment. You get discriminated quite a lot, but 
you get used to it. It's different, I guess, because we, yeah, yeah, we yeah. saw you with makeup on first. Yeah. And now we're seeing you with the tattoos. So I guess, like, our initial prejudice was yeah. that we saw you without makeup. I thought the upside down like cross is when you've murdered someone, isn't it? No, yeah. that's, a, that's, that's a teardrop. <laughs> but I can mean several things. This is just an upside down cross, yeah. just to be no. a bit rebelish. Do you know oh, what yes, I mean? Yes. It just shows that things are moving on now. You know, times are changing and people are being a lot more accepting towards people with uh, heavy tattoos. You know, it's not gonna, not everyone, but a lot of people are, and especially some of the, these big chains are. So, you know, it's good, it's progress. Uh, yeah, this makes me happy again. I feel a little bit more me again now. <laughs>